Greetings, CBC, and welcome to this week's Sunday warm-up. Before we get into the uh, notes for this Sunday, let me just remind you of a few things. Number one, as a way of re remaining in the vine that we looked at this last week, that's what part of the purpose of these uh, videos are, these warm-ups, to help us to warm up, get ready, read the passages. I want to give you these uh, as early as in the week, so usually Monday morning, Monday afternoon. Uh, I upload these so that all week long, myself and all of us as a congregation or those who are listening on Sunday mornings can be prepared, be reading, uh, to be thinking about, to be holding on to these passages of Scripture each and every day this week. Then we'll come together. We'll hear them on Sunday. So we won't hear them for the first time. We'll be have read them all week long. We hear the sermon and then maybe sometime that afternoon on Sunday, sometimes Sunday evening before we go to bed, we reread the, that chapter, that section of scripture we're looking at, uh, maybe notes that uh, we took on Sunday morning and we go back over those again. So all week long, we're remaining, we're abiding in this particular passage of Scripture together as a congregation. Uh, second, let me, let me remind you, uh, on our Sunday evening workshops, we have one more teaching workshop, and that's this Sunday night, uh, the 22nd. And it is on the atonement, the, the saving work of Jesus Christ. Such a foundational doctrine for us to understand and to look at passages of Scripture so that we know, again, what it is that we believe of the saving work of Christ in our lives. So uh, I really uh, encourage you to come this week, 6 to 7.30 on Sunday night. And then the last of the, the Sunday night workshops in October uh, will be the movie night. The movie's just over, just, I think it's like two hours, maybe 10 minutes. So it'll be from six to probably just after eight. I'm starting a movie right at six. And the, the movie is uh, on the life of uh, the reformer Martin Luther. Uh, that's it as far as announcements. Lastly, before I jump into the Sunday, the warm up for this week, let me just say uh, one more time thank you uh, for all of your your gifts, co cards, notes, messages. Uh, thank you for the gift uh, from the the congregation, uh, the the very kind uh, words and prayer uh, that Bob. Uh, led us in on Sunday. Uh, myself, my family, we appreciate that tremendously. We, we appreciate uh, your support over all of these years. We appreciate the uh, the love and the affirmation uh, given to us uh, er, all the time uh, from you guys. I, we're, we're blessed uh, throughout the year, not just in this this one pocket of space of Pastors Appreciation Month, but um, you you you. you you, you always go above and beyond uh, this month to just say, uh, to show your appreciation. And it is much appreciated by myself and, and my family. So, so thank you. All right, for this week, John chapter 16. John 16 is the passage before us. It's the last of the, the teaching portion in, in this section. And then we'll finish up next week with John 17, which is Jesus's prayer. So John 16 this week uh, we're going to look at it in, in three sections. Uh, there is the section within this. There's really four sections we could look at, but the, the one of them is on the Holy Spirit. We already covered that a couple of weeks ago. If you haven't watched that one, go back to October 8th sermon on John 14, and we talked about the role of the Holy Spirit there. So for this week, uh, we'll certainly read it again in John 16, but we won't be covering that part in the sermon because we already have. So we're going to look at <clears throat> this uh, chapter in three kind of headings and sections, uh, verses 1 to 4, talking about remembering the words of Christ. And alongside those verses, take a look at Hebrews chapter 2, <clears throat> verse 1, excuse me, Hebrews chapter 2, verse 1, Hebrews chapter 3, verses 1 to 15, and Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 to 2. The second section we're going to look at under the heading of sorrow will turn to joy. And take a look at 1 Kings chapter 2 verses 1 to 4. And then the third and final uh, heading section we will be looking at in John 16 will be alone but never alone. And with that I want to come back to once again 2 Timothy chapter 4 verses 9 to 18. So that's it for this week. Take a look at those passages, read them, uh, write them down, take some notes on them and get ready for what it is that we will be looking at together on Sunday morning, coming warmed up and, and ready to hear uh, the word of God together as a congregation. 
appreciate your prayers as always. We appreciate your prayers for our time of worship and study of the word on Sunday morning. And know that you will be in my prayers uh, this week as we prepare to gather together uh, for this Sunday morning. God bless you this week.